or to her gravesite. While well, it can be hard to head back to work after the holidays, there is some good news for Alabama hourly employees. Starting this new year, the state is no longer taxing overtime pay. News 19 State Capitol reporter Mehdi Beer Temple spoke with the lawmaker behind that change. Alabama taxes hourly and overtime wages at 5%, but with this new law, any hours you work over 40 will be excluded from gross income. That's 5% more money in your wallet. House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels sponsored the bill last legislative session. It passed with unanimous support in both houses. It's putting more money in your pocket. It's your money and you deserve to take it home. Daniels says the bill was filed in response to rising costs. He says it will help Alabamians with inflation and it could also help the state's labor force participation rate. 5% of time and a half is a lot more than 5% of base pay. And so it gives workers an opportunity to bring take home more money so they can afford those eggs and those prescription drugs. The law expires in June of 2025 if lawmakers don't reauthorize it. Daniel says he's confident the legislature will do that as that next year is an election year. It was a very strategic uh, placement in the legislation because in 18 months all of these House and Senate members will be uh, filing their paperwork to run for run re, run for re-election and so I don't know anyone that's running for re-election uh, in, in a re-election year that doesn't want to uh, make certain that this legislation continues on. Now, the tax cut has an estimated $45 million impact on the education budget. Daniels, however, expects the hit may not be that much since people will be spending that extra money elsewhere. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19. Well, more than two years.